Today marks the 114th Bedlam battle between the Cowgirls and the 16th ranked Crimson and Cream. And as usual, there's much more than pride to play for. OU comes in. They've already locked up at least the number two seed at 23 and 5 and 13 and 4 in the Big 12. If they can win today, coupled with a Texas loss, they will be the champions of the Big 12 and the number one seed. Meanwhile, OSU tied for third can hold on to the number three spot or fall to as low as five, depending on what Iowa State and Baylor are able to do. First possession, Cowgirls draw the contact and free throws coming up. It's a big basket by Claire getting to the basket, that is. And that's one of the things that Jenny talked about to start the game, that they need to keep the Cowgirls off the free throw line. And we're looking into it. We're five seconds into it, and they're already shooting two. So Chastain, the senior, transfer from Texas Arlington at the free throw line, knocks down the first. Be a good start for Chip Claire because she's had a little bit of issues from her back injury, and this will get her warmed up, ready to go. These two teams combined to shoot 59 free throws in January, and Norman already two. Here are the first five seconds, both made by Chastain. Both teams in dark jerseys. The Cowboys wearing black today on senior day. Taylor Robertson, the all-time three-point shooter in the NCAA, hands it off, and the bucket is good for number 25, Maddie Williams. That's Maddie. That's what she does. And she knows she's played in five years of these Bedlam games, so you know she's ready to go. There you get a look at the Cowboys starters as they miss down low, rebound Oklahoma. Three-pointer, count it for Williams. She's got five, and the Sooner lead is three. Oklahoma's going to have to find her in transition. That's one of the things that Coach Hoyt talked about with game was transition defense. Trying to get it down low to Collins. It's stripped away. Here comes Oklahoma. They look down low. Layup is up and good, 48-14. Back-to-back 20-plus -back win seasons after the two seasons prior to her, the senior class only won 20 games combined in those two seasons. So quick turnaround after nine seasons at Drake in the Missouri Valley. Alnatis on track from way back for the Cowgirls. That's a big three right there. That'll settle them down a little bit. Now we're going to see what both teams are made of right now. Taken three. away by Oklahoma State. Three leads to a turnover. Chastain into the corner. Three. Got it! Both of these young ladies that are coaching both of our institutions in the state are also candidates for Coach of the Year. I think what we've seen from both coaches already is to drive the basketball. And Coach Perron has done the same thing. So it looks like today we may go back to that shooting 50-some-odd free throws. And Milton back on for Oklahoma State. Asi drives off the balance, can't get it over the front of the rim. It's out of bounds to the Sooners. Face up, turn around, knock it down. I see. Back to the lap. He screamed for it. Cassidy lays it in. Oklahoma State took advantage of having Van on RC, and they took advantage of the screen and roll with Cassidy. Oklahoma turns it over. Foul quickly. Garzone with the steal. And we expect more fireworks here this afternoon. Milton to Asi, back to Milton. Taryn drives, drops, and we're tied at 12. Three. Off the back rim, no good, out of bounds. There you see Milton able to drive into the paint. That's what she does. She probes, and then on the other end, here comes Taylor right now. She knows how to read screens as best as anybody in the league. 17 footer. And a friendly roll for Oklahoma. Kicks out three before the shot clock. No good. Great defense possession by the Sooners. Made the Cowboys take a perimeter shot while the shot clock went down. And 
The ball bounces Oklahoma's way that time, and they lay it in, go back up four. Final 245 of this first quarter. Final regular season game for both teams. Great pass, great penetration. The college read that she was in the sideline of Mimi, was able to get the basket. It doesn't matter if you score, Sooners get it back out and go. Alnatis with the steal and the finish, and we're tied at 16. An and one opportunity. Great pass to Jones. The hardest thing to do right there is not to make the shot, it's to make the backdoor pass. Finishes off the old fashioned three point play. Suitors back up three. Milton runs out of real estate. This is where she makes her money, Mike, is on the free throw line and in the paint. Cowgirls have made four of their last five shots from the field. Milton drains both free throws, and it's a one point game. Look for Coach to run something of a fade screen for either Jones or Robertson right here. Jones back up top. There you go. Robertson kicks out. Count it. The last. Unable to finish this time. That's an okay UJ Hawk play there. That's a play they call it high. They just empty out on the high post, and uh, you've got one on one. Cassidy's got to be able to figure out how to make that play. A little one hander will not go, but Oklahoma gets the putback. I tell you what, Van is just playing incredible right now. She's getting every miss basket. She's coming up. She's winning all the 50-50 balls. Hardy in double figures with 11 off the bench. Chastain, the left hand, too strong. It gives you an opportunity maybe to have a rest of one minute or somebody for the person coming out. They're down four. Shot clock turned off. Back out to Robertson. Creates some space. And off the back rim at the horn. Let's watch what happens here. I think you're going to see a set play going to the side of Robertson. Back door cut, stripped. Sooners get it in. Jones. Cowgirls strip it. Garzon with the defense. Garzon for three. Yeah! So Lior with the offense and the defense and a sooner turnover. Already nine turnovers on Oklahoma. Watch the fade screen right here for Lior. Short. Rebounded by Oklahoma State. Garzon, top of the circle. Yeah! Back-to-back -back threes for the Cowgirls to start the second. And a block inside by DeLapp. And I believe it bounced off the back of DeLapp. And Sooners inbound. Great inbounds play. Going right into Skyler. The inbounder is live. Into Tucker. Back into the hands of Robertson. Offensive foul. Milton with it for the Cowgirls. Garzone open. Around and out. Heat check. Trinity Jackson actually set that up for her. Came off a ball screen and a down screen for Lior, which got her wide ass open. And nothing called there as Jackson hit the hardwood. Good roll by Scott. 26 all. Keys into Jackson. There goes it down. And she'll go to the foul line. 56% for 
from the line, makes the first. It'll be interesting to see what Coach Hoyt's doing here with Cassidy coming in. Maybe just a quick breather back and forth. Trinity served for a breather. Stripped away almost. Shooters with the basketball shot clock at 15. Little mid range jumper, no good. Here we go in transition. Look at the corners. Alnadis. Yeah! Mike Lexi Keys got that basket because she sprinted to the corner. They had to pay attention to her. Mimi gets the trail three. Largest lead of the afternoon for Oklahoma State. Robertson gives it up. And the Sooners counter with another point in the paint from Ray Scott. Great play by Taylor. Big basket needed at the time. She gathers so much attention. Garcon! Goodness gracious. What a game. What a game. Both sides. Great pass, Mike. I see. Three. Side of the rim, no good. Cowboys have had a hard time unless they're shooting threes off a penetrating pitch. Most of the threes off the dribble with the exception of Lord. There she is. Can't lose focus. Defensive transition, you got to find her. That's what happened at Norman. Trinity Jackson is checked back in, and she knocks it down. Robertson. Cullinton hands it off. Tries to get it back. Jackson gets a hand on it. Keys across midcourt. Penetrates and lays it in. Cowgirls up 38-33. If you've noticed, that's kind of been what Lexi's been told to do today, is to drive them. She's attacked every time she's got the ball. Left hand, good. Keys. Drive and kick out. Alnadis. Count it. That's what I said, Mike. That's what Lexi's doing today. Alnadis going to be called for the foul on Oklahoma State. What are we going to do offensively, and what is Oklahoma going to do defensively? The last half of the circle down to Jackson. Both bigs went into a high-low. Great call by Coach Hoyt. Jackson, three for three from the line. He give the Cowgirls their largest lead of the day if a make here and does. And another turnover on Oklahoma. Cowgirls can get a two for one if they can get a quick basket here. Milton makes the first. 11 for 11. Make it 12 for 12. Free throw call, great call by coach there. Coming off a penetrate and a Euro cut on the backside with a penetrate pitch back. Jones with a three. Got a two second differential between the game and shot clock. You want to make sure you take this thing down as the lowest point possible, not give them an opportunity to shoot the ball. Milton penetrates and kicks. Keys. Off the back rim, no good. And bodies tumble as the horn sounds here on Eddie Sutton Court. OSU shooting the ball so well right now, but you've got to start rebounding. You're minus 12 on the boards, and you've got to, you've got to make sure that you get off to a great defensive start. Collins got the rebound, and she only played six minutes in that first half. Alnadis misses from three. 
tell you what, Mike, when you come out, threes are really hard to shoot right when you come out of halftime. You need to move the ball, lots of cutting, a lot of movement, and try to play inside, outside. Tot. Dumps it down low. And a nice layup. Milt drives, this is Castain. She is four for four there today. And the Cowgirls now 13 for 13 from the line. That's one of the things that uh, Jenny talked about. We've got to keep them off the line. They were on the line a lot at Norman. Top with it for Oklahoma. Dumps it down low and a finish to lap. Trying to set a screen on. Otis took it right past her, shot it up long. Rebound, Oklahoma. A score here might be a timeout for the Cowboys. They save it out near the midcourt stripe. Yanusa. Back to Tot. She gives it up to Colleton for the layup. That's Drive and a foul drawn by Lexi Keys. That's how you do it. She's telling the girls to settle down. Trinity has checked back in. She has not missed a shot this game, so look for the Cowgirls to throw it inside. And you know what, Oklahoma? And that three drops for Raina Scott. I see kick out. And the offensive foul on Oklahoma State. Knotted at 48. The lap called for the foul, and it's an and one opportunity for the Sooners. Is that the offense she's creating off the ball by her screening and by her movement and passing? Along with Scott and along with Van, these big girls have changed the game for the Sooners. Garzon penetrates, one hander short, gets it back. This time it drops. Much needed basket right there for the Cowgirls. Probably more needed for Leora more so than anything. First field goal of the second half. And it's answered by a Robertson three and the Sooner bench off their feet. It's answered by a Culleton handoff screen is what it's answered by. She set that up all by herself. And the Cowgirls called for the offensive foul. Yanusa starts the offense. Scott will drive. Foul called on DeLapp. Scott misses the first. Just seven free throws thus far today for Oklahoma. They've made five of those. Make it six. Scott has 11. Good backdoor cut. Unable to finish, and the Sooners wrestle away the rebound. Oklahoma State has not looked in sync offensively here in the third, and a quick basket on the other end for Scott. Great look by Milton right there. Sooners had a layup. Largest lead of the day for the Sooners at seven. Big three for big free throw by Lexi here. Let's see what the Cowgirls do defensively on this possession. Trying to find Robertson. She's open for a three. Got it. All set up from the screen, Mike. Oklahoma up eight. Milton. It'll be a foul on Oklahoma. Scott just fouled out. That was her fifth. And now Liz Scott, who has fouled out. A miss on the second. 35 seconds to go here in the third. Seven point sooner advantage. The 
Yanusa with it for Oklahoma. Van, no. The Sooners get the board and the putback and the foul and have a chance to go up double digits. And Yanusa with a chance to make it a 10 point game here late in the third. Well, Anna, when you've got a guard that can come in there and rebound like that, that's big for the Sooners because it's just replacing a, almost like a forward. Tucker on for Oklahoma. I see checks back in for the Cowgirls. Kirsten Johnson has come in now for Oklahoma. I'm going to say that the Cowgirls are going to go right at her with I see. A tough shot, but a fourth three for all Nottis and a much needed basket. Well, you never know what a spark is going to do, but that shot right there will help. Coach Hoyt typically in the fourth quarter has had these girls absolutely play unbelievable basketball all year long in the fourth quarter. I'll be shocked if the Cowgirls don't come out and play better. Garzon short, battle for the rebound, held ball, and it will be Oklahoma basketball. And Mike, one of the things that Coach Hoyt did during the timeout was she got Collins back in the ball game, so that will hopefully negate a little bit. OU just turns it over here in the backcourt. I'm telling you, I, I, it, not being a fan here, Mike, I think we're getting ready to see a little momentum switch here. I think the Cowgirls are starting to feel a lot better about themselves. They are 0 for 7 from 3 here in the second half. Shot clock at five. Collins turns, dishes. Lexi's a good free throw shooter. If they're going to go inside, they may go to their high low like they did a while ago. Sooners get a second look at it and convert. Culleton again. She has really played well for the Sooners, Mike. She's been a difference maker in the second half for them. And a turnover. Culleton just on an offensive rebound on a guard mismatch there. She gets it taken care of. Oklahoma ranks 16th in the country. Shot clock at six for the Sooners. Scott cuts, feeds Culleton, layup good. Really a good long possession by the Sooners. Lots of movement, a lot of screen reads. Come off the penetration, bounce pass for a layup. Biggest lead of the day for Oklahoma, 11. See, draw some contact. Or do something to different to just take them out of their rhythm. The lap back on with four fouls. Gets the inbounds and lays it up and in. Backdoor cut. The lap on the floor. Oklahoma State comes away with it. I knew they were going to run a backdoor just based on the pressure. Alnatis drives, scoops, and scores. The deficit back to seven for the Cowgirls. Cowgirls need to get a stop here, and this whole game changes. Sooners need to have a long offensive possession. Culleton, Delac defending with four fouls, does a good job to keep Culleton from scoring. And some words between Delap and Culleton. A little partial block, scramble on the floor. Little trash talking. Yeah, yeah, there's it's Bedlam. Yeah, I don't think each other's going to send Christmas cards, to be honest. But uh, <laughs> that's just it. This is a great sub by Coach Hoyt. I like this sub. Get her calmed down. I think that's a probably that's that's a really good decision there. Oklahoma State scores here, Mike. We've got a whole different ball game. Chastain with it. Milton drives, pull up, scores! Got a ball game, Mike. Here we go, it's called Bedlam. That's what we call in the state of Oklahoma. They've made three of their last three shots, six nothing run for the Cowgirls. Robertson with it for the Sooners. 
She'll drive. Layup. Count it. And a foul. Seventy to sixty-two. Oklahoma second in the country with twenty point eight assists per contest. Have twenty-one today. Oklahoma State with just nine assists on the afternoon. Well, assists come when you're making shots and when you're shooting the ball as bad as the, the Cowgirls are today. There's not a lot of assists to go with it. A great move right here. Play inside, outside. And the Collins for the finish. Oklahoma needs to have long possessions. Long possessions while Maddie's sitting on the bench over there. Oklahoma State needs to get stops. Whip inside, shot blocked. That was Chastain inside with the defense. Chastain drives, contact, absorbs it, but misses the shot off balance. Win three, count it for Tucker. And another cowgirl turnover. Boy, that is, that, this is a type of team that will make waves throughout the NCAA tournament. Unselfish teams go far. They have 22 assists on 28 made baskets this afternoon. Open three. Put back no good. Finally, the Cowgirls come away with it. That could have been a dagger. Coach Roy, on the last defensive possession, made a change. She started trapping. Let's see if she traps again. Plenty of time left in this game. Get a stop. But OU's being smart. They're going to draw out this possession. Yanusa with it, top of the circle. Now top. Shot clock at five for Taylor Robertson. Short as the shot clock expires. Jump ball. Possession goes to Oklahoma State. Let's see if we have a ball screen by Collins or Lior to set up a fade screen for a three. This is a little brush screen. This is set up for a three right here. Keys will penetrate, mid-range jumper, won't drop, rebound Oklahoma. Oklahoma's gonna have a long possession here. They're gonna put the ball in Taylor's hands here at the end, I would think. She's gonna run out here to the top of the key and probably get the ball. Give and go, converted by Yanusa. I tell you, all of the big girls for Oklahoma today have played extremely well. Backdoor cut for Garzon. Good backdoor cut, good feed. Now you're going to have to do something defensively, get a trap here or there. Approaching a go. minute to go, turnover. I see up ahead. And too far in front of Garzon. Oh, I thought it was it's no, it's ball. Oklahoma. Okay, so yep. we were wrong. Okay. Get a foul. Not now. Now. Sooners playing keep away, and finally, Lexi Keys able to grab a hold. Oh, he was so smart there at moving the ball. That one just the fourth team foul. Just trap, don't foul. So right now you've got a free throw play coming up. If you can get a quick layup, take it. 42 seconds, 41.6. The best way to get a three is to throw it out and then do the one more pass. We've got an opportunity for seven teams out of this league. Everybody want to talk about the men's league, but the women's league can get seven as well. 
Alnadis off balance three off the side of the rim. Chase down. Alnadis gets it back. Off balance. Partially blocked. Keys ends up with it. She's fouled. Count it. And a chance for a three-point play. Makes it a two-possession game. 77-71. Timeout. I coach the all-time leading free throw shooter in the history of NCAA, Blake Ahern, and it was so comforting knowing at the end of the game we were going to put the ball in his hands. Was perfect today before that miss. Makes the second and makes it a three-possession game. Get a good shot here. Get a good shot. Don't have to take the contested three. It was thought it was deflected. They're going to say last touch by the Cowgirls. That's so impressive with what you just did. Todd got rid of the ball. Van got rid of the ball quickly. Not one player held on to the ball to shoot the free throw. Oklahoma will finish out the Big 12 schedule 14 and 4. And no worse than a tie for the top spot with Texas. And improved to 24 and 5 on the season. The Cowgirls will drop their final three conference games. Finished 10 and 8 in the league, 20 and 10 overall, and their seeding still up for grabs depending on what Iowa State does this afternoon along with Baylor tonight. And Oklahoma sweeps Bedlam. 80 to 71 is your final. They do it without Maddie Williams. Robertson finishes with 15. Van off the bench with 13 in the victory, overshadowing three Cowgirls in double figures, 14 for Keys, 15 all not as leading the way, and 13 for Garzone.